Hello YouTube, this is an update on my solar system that I've been putting together. This is a 40 foot, almost, it's 38 feet to the top antenna tower I put on the side of the house and I've attached two 130 watt panels up there. Uh, the framing I'll show you in a little bit, I've got some of that extra, I'm not sure what it's called, but I've got it up there, not at the right angle yet, but I'm working on that. So if you come back over here with me to the back porch, I'll uh, go ahead and show you. It's early morning time, so my system's not generating the full amount of the 260 watts that it could generate. But I do want to show you this here. Uh, that right there is the, uh, it's not angle iron, but uh, there, you can find that in your, over in the uh, electrical aisle in uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. This right here is my backup to my panels for my battery bank. So I've got a, uh, I'm working on the starter system at the moment, but uh, basically I've got this uh, set up with two 100, 100 amp alternators on it. Uh, really nice. Uh, fill up my battery bank in about 45 minutes. So, very rapid charge. Now, uh, in case you've not seen my battery bank before on my previous video, uh, it is consistent of, consisted of four batteries. The two red ones in the center actually make one battery. 220 amp and the blue one is 125 amp and then this one here is a car battery which I'm not sure how many that is but I'm guessing about 50 or 80 amp hours <clears throat> this is the inverter I've since last update the first uh, installation of my videos I've done this here to connect it into the uh, inside of my utility room I currently have two outlets, one in the utility room and one in the uh, children's playroom slash my little office, and it works out very well. Um, I don't have it connected to the house electrical system. I just go ahead and use those outlets. I figure that's the easiest way uh, and least uh, expensive way to do it at the moment. <clears throat> I made this uh, combiner box right here. I uh, saw a YouTube video on that, and I've... Uh, made it one of my favorites so you can see it on my click it and find it on my site I have to thank that uh, gentleman for for showing me that so basically all I did was take some ground bar cut it in half uh, super glued it one on this side one on this side so all of my wiring goes in here and very simply just has a positive and a negative and so I've only got two wires running into the charge controller and then from here it goes down into my uh, battery bank I do have my batteries uh, sitting on this plywood that I've put underneath it and that makes sure that I don't uh, ground it out back there and I actually do have quite a bit of space here uh, so that it doesn't touch any metal. <clears throat> now, oops. my uh, system here gives you quite a bit of information. Uh, yesterday, I managed to make 67.7 amp hours with 963 watt hours and 181 peak hours, uh, peak watts coming in from the uh, the system, and. Uh, you can just kind of see some of the numbers depending on the day depends on how much 70 amp hours I think is the highest I've made in one day uh, so far according to the system uh, the little smaller numbers 3 and 9 amp hours and so on and so forth those are actually uh, probably really short short days Right now, like I said, it's early morning, so I'm only generating 13 watts. 
trying to get this to focus for you. My battery bank's at 23 Celsius, which is 73.4 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, I have 19 volts coming in, 13 volts going into the battery bank, and because of the multiple point, multiple point tracking, I've got 0.7 amps coming in, which then gets bumped up to 1.1 amps. Uh, I am going to turn this system into a 24 volt array, which this charge controller will then step down to a 12 volt uh, charge for the batteries. I love that part. Uh, still a bit of a mess, I know that, but uh, please give me your any suggestions, any uh, ideas, and rate my video. Thank you very much.